let us see very important topic of series resonance that is reactance curves and impedance curves so first of all we will concentrate on left hand side that is reactance curves now everyone knows what is the reactance is it is the opposition to the current flow through inductor and capacitor so the formulas for uh, reactances are known inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi fl and capacitive reactance is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc so here if you see there is a direct relation between frequency and inductive reactance observe the graph carefully frequency is plotted on x axis f and inductive reactance is on y axis similarly capacitive reactance is also on negative y axis and frequency is on x axis now with this formula if we put a different values of the frequencies here if we put frequency is equal to zero inductive reactance will be zero if we put frequency is equal to infinity inductive reactance will be infinity like this so there is a direct relation between inductive reactance and fre frequency as frequency goes on increasing obviously inductive reactance will also goes on increases so this is uh, similar to our graph which is passing through origin and having 45 degree uh, 45 degree line we normally call so this is the inductive reactance indicated with blue color as we know resistance in the circuit is not dependent on frequency so it is shown as a green colored straight line it is not dependent on frequency so whatever may be the value of frequency either zero or infinity towards right hand side there is no as such effect on this green line called as resistance line now third parameter that is capacitive reactance x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc and there is an indirect relationship so if frequency f is equal to zero inductive re uh, sorry capacitive reactance will be infinite but in the negative direction so if you see here for zero values of frequency or for less values of frequency capacitive reactance is more but in the negative infinite direction as frequency goes on increasing capacitive reactance reduces it comes near to the origin so we are coming near to the origin in the negative direction so our graph is slightly like this exponential one this is capacitive reactance having a parabola shape or exponential shape and this is an inductive reactance straight line passing through origin and this is resistance line green colored line okay so in this way we can have different plots with the formulas with respect to frequencies now if we calculate xl minus xc reactance so it will have this brown colored line shape like this slightly a parabola and slightly a straight line like this so it is indicated as xl minus xc entirely value or entirely shape of the curve will be depend on what are the values of xl and what are the values of xc so if you see at the origin at the origin inductive reactance is very less whereas capacitive reactance is very large in the negative direction so if we calculate xl minus xc resultant will be entirely capacitive and it will be in the negative direction so we are here as frequency increases we are moving to the right hand side as we are moving to the right hand side xl value also increases and xc reduces so xl minus xc slightly it becomes positive and we are moving in the uh, uh, in the area above this zero line that is we are having positive value uh, for less values of frequency inductive reactance is small capacitive reactance is more so xl minus xc entire term will be negative and we will be in the downward portion of this graph okay so in this way we can have plot for inductive reactance capacitive reactance resistance and the resultant xl minus xc with respect to frequency here for our reference we are shown for low values of frequencies that is below resonance circuit is entirely capacitive because of capacitive reactance value is more at resonance circuit is totally resistive because xl is equal to xc here also we can note down this is the resonance point at this resonance points xl minus xc value will be zero because xl if we see graphically xl is equal to xc both the reactances are equal and opposite and hence xl minus xc value is zero at this uh, resonant frequency okay so we will have entirely resistive circuit at uh, resonant frequency and after resonant frequency circuit will be purely inductive one okay in this way we can have plot for different reactances 
resistance and the resultant xl minus xc with respect to frequencies